You are now live with Taji. Hello, everybody. It's your girl Taji here, live with Taji on this beautiful Tuesday. I was about to say Monday. I know it's not just me because we just came from the holiday weekend. So we're here (laughs) on this beautiful Tuesday, September 8th. I hope everyone had a great Labor Day weekend. And I have a wonderful, talented guest with me tonight by the name of Sierra Horton. If you don't know her, you are going to know her. All right. So she is the owner, editor in chief of not one, but two e magazines. So that's she is and he is. So welcome, welcome. Thank you for having me, Taji. I'm so happy to be here tonight. Yeah. Thank you. I'm so much. happy to see you. And you know, it's it's reversed, you know, because before you were right. me. And now I'm interviewing you, you know. Yeah. So I'm in I'm in my <laughs> realm right now. So we about to, we I know, about to you know. <laughs> I know. I'm I'm used to seeing you in that realm and then I'm on the opposite side of the table today. So I'm like, okay, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So first off, where are you from? Where are you doing this e magazine from? Okay, I am not too far outside of Charlotte, so I always use Charlotte, North Carolina um, as, you know, my focus because I'm only, you know, 20 minutes outside of there. Um, so, North Carolina, hey, <laughs> you know, on the map. But oh, so that's you down south. Are. Yes, uh, down south. How, how things treating you right now? The weather's still good down there? It is. It's actually cooling down some. So, when you step outside, you can tell that it's fall. Um, which I'm glad, but I'm like, oh, it's cool outside, but you know, it's still nice outside, still sunny, but it is cooling down. What's your definition of cool outside? 75? Like, <laughs> no, like 55 in the morning. That's what we've been getting. And I'm like, what? what? Summer? Yes. Something's up. Cause up here in New York, we're not getting that in the morning. Really? Right. It's like in the 60s or even 70s. Oh, no. It, it was very cool this morning. I was like, it's very cold. Like, what happened? Oh, wow. <laughs> Overnight. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, yes. So I'm feeling like we're probably going to have one of those winters this year with it being cold like this so early on. Oh, man. So, you know, I was trying to inch you in just a little bit, but we're going to go right into it, you know. Let's do it. So we're going to go right into it with the She Is e-magazine because that came first. So I want to know, what was the inspiration behind that? Because they do say, you know, a lot of editor-in-chiefs or we say owner of a magazine. Like, how did you say, like, did you just wake up and say, you know what, I feel like doing an e-magazine? Or did you have your friends and relatives saying, I think you need to do this? Like, how did... She is E-Magazine okay. Start. So I am a reader. Like, I, I love reading. Um, my parents, they pretty much, like, push that, you know, inside of us. And I always, I just grew up with seeing them read and have magazines and books. And like I said, they made sure that my brother and myself, we always had books, had to read. And I love reading. So one day, you know, I was just sitting at home and I was like, there's got to be something else that I can do. I'm a mother. I'm a wife. Um, so I was just like, nine to five, okay, but there has to be something else that I can do. So I literally like just had a vision and I seen the word she is. And I was like, okay, God, what you trying to tell me? You know, and I know it was crazy. I was like, okay, you know, so later on, it just came on me like, okay, Sierra, that's going to be a magazine you need to get started. I had no idea what I was doing, but that's where it came from. Oh, wow. (laughs) Yes. So I was like, okay, you took, you know, pretty much God took something that I already loved and just gave it to me. So it sounds like you did all the research and everything on how to organize this e-magazine on your own or, you know, however way you did it, whether it was through Google or a friend somehow, you did, like, it started all from, literally from the bottom. Yeah, from the bottom. Absolutely from the bottom with just scratch, like, just trying to figure out, um, 
you know, what I wanted to include in the magazine. So I, I have inspiration from, like I said, I wrote with my mother having Essence and Jet and everything else. So I had inspiration from them because I knew how they started out their magazines, how they ended their magazines. But I wanted to be different at the same time. Um, you know, you always want to do something original on your own. But they inspired me with how they, you know, just just shared our stories. So I went from there, I Googled, I researched, and I still didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> but like I said, I just started writing out what I wanted to see inside of my magazine, what I wanted to share. And um, I went from there and it was crazy, but I started with Google Newsstand knowing nothing about this, nothing, but that's what happened. Now, here you are, and I do see yeah. that you get a lot of uh, people in the spotlight, you know, a lot of entrepreneurs. So um, mm -hmm. do you cater to certain individuals? Like, you know, do you have to just be a music artist? Do you have to just be in fashion? Or can you be in any industry? You can be in any industry as long as you are a boss babe. Um, that is what the magazine is based upon, uh, women of color who are bosses. Some people are not entrepreneurs, and I get that, but they might be a CEO. They might be, you know, a supervisor. You're a leader. So any type of leadership that you are doing and active in, you qualify to be inside of She Is, and we want to share your story. Oh, wow. So I love that, you know, CEO, because yeah. that is a boss, babe. You know, you don't have to be an entrepreneur. So I want people to hear that because, you know, yeah. entrepreneurs are taking over, but That's other true. industries are just as important. And you have to That's be true. a woman of color, you said. So women of color, does that mean you have to be black or can you be Latina? You know, how to, like, how does one get into the magazine as a woman of color? Um, honestly, I have not had my first Latina. Um, when we say women of color, of course, you know, that's a, that's not something that's really broad. Um, but hey, if you are Latina, if you're, you know, whatever, as long as you have some color, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't try to just get all the way down like that, but I do want to focus on women of color because, you know, so they say sometimes we're the minority. So I want to, I want to focus on the minority. That's what I want to do. Right. And I love that. I love that. Yes. And, you know, cause we all in some way deserve to be in the spotlight and speaking of spotlight, you have that where people are actually presented under spotlight edition. Um, so I want to mm -hmm. know how does, you know, how do I get into the eat? She is E Magazine. And just to say real quick, I have been in She is E Magazine. But for those yes. who are in and, you know, <laughs> watching, how, like, you know, is it one page, two pages, three, you know, does it have to be two or three pages? Like, what do I need to be a part of the She is E Magazine? Okay. So the two page feature is a spotlight, which is she is a spotlight. It's just a short interview um, that introduces you to the audience. It's not a full interview. So that's the difference between the full interview and the spotlight interview. Um, like I said, if you don't make cover, I want you for the spotlight. You still are able to share your story. Um, usually the full cover is a minimum of four and a max of six pages. Um, there you are, you, you know, you're the cover girl, you have a full story, but I always, um, want everyone to know that even if you don't become a cover girl, Hey, you still up there, we still have room for you as far as the spotlight is concerned. So the only thing I ask is that you, um, you know, reach out to me. You can send me a DM on she is a magazine and also send me an email, um, that way, um, which is in the link of my bio, if you go on Facebook or Instagram, she is e magazine. That way, you can reach out to me. Let me know what you think, and we'll talk and discuss it, and see if we can get you booked because we are booking for 2021. Mm, 2021, y'all hear that right? I know everyone wants to be in an e magazine. So, speaking yes. of e magazine, what made you say I want to do an e magazine versus 
magazine, like in hand magazine, go to the store magazine? I decided to do a e-magazine because technology is continuously changing and expanding and believe it or not, more people are on their phones or on their tablets or computers than are actually picking up a hard copy book. So that's why I decided to start off with a magazine. Um, of course, I want to expand hopefully next year and start doing hard copies, but that's the, that's the real reason why I decided to do an e-magazine because it's right at your fingertips just in case you're not home. You got it and you can log into it on your phone, you know, just to make it more, more um, accessible. That is true. Yeah, you know, there's why. a lot of us that be out like, <laughs> right all the time on the train you know people coming from work mm -hmm. school or whatever boom the phone that's right that's right that's why i decided to do an e-magazine cool idea cool idea and i see what you know you have the distinctive look for she is e-magazine which is red is there a reason why you say you know what i want to do red versus purple or green or pink, you know? What made you say, yes. you know what? Red is what I think this is gonna be. <laughs> so red is actually my favorite color. Um, so I decided to choose that color. And I also know that red, when you see red, you think about a lot of different things. You think, you know, it's demanding attention. Attention. Um, a lot of people see it as being sexy, you know, and just those type of moves. So I wanted to go with that color, not just because it's my favorite color, but because, like I said, nine times out of ten, when you see red, it's going to catch your eyes, going to catch your attention. So yeah. that's why I chose red. That's my main color. <laughs> red alert yeah. right there. Like I see you posting, you know, you keeping our attention there. And it's it's inspirational too. Like, you know, I noticed your quotes on your Instagram page as well. And you know, I definitely see the inspiration. You're trying to keep us motivated. Mm -hmm. I definitely thank you for that. And the oh. funny thing I want to say is when you when you know when we first met and you know I you know we didn't meet with by me going to North Carolina or you coming to New York I just <laughs> saw you know she is e magazine that came up on my page and I was like oh I need to know more about this and you know since then we've connected and you know mm -hmm. um, yeah I can see that you're about your business and you know personality and everything is great and you don't get that often or see that often when it comes to business women, businessmen, whatever. And I'm sure what you do is difficult. I can't imagine. Yes. Like, yeah. I'm sure you have sleepless nights and then some. <laughs> <You know>? Okay. <laughs> in my mind, nice and early morning. Right. So in my mind, I was just like, okay, you know, I see that you have this. She is. And in, my, in the back of my head, I was like, I wonder if she's going to do it. He is. And I was just like, wow. I was going to hit you up. And then one day I just noticed, I was like, wait a minute. There's a he is. Oh, shit. <laughs> dope. This is dope. And I, hit you up. I was like, oh, you got a he is e magazine. Oh, my gosh. Like, so that's fantastic. And I'm, I'm just so hype about it. And <laughs> so now you, you don't only you know, motivate and, and spread awareness on women entrepreneurs or, you know, see boss babes, right? Yes. You do the men as well. And that's, yes. I believe in uh, June, July of this year. Yes, in June. So mm -hmm. what, what inspired a men's version of She Is E! Magazine? So my husband, he was talking to me about it and I was like, yeah, you know, because <laughs> for one, you know, you know how men are. They are like, they do the way that they do and we do the way that we do. Right. And I was like, it's just enough already, like doing what she is or whatever. Like, then I have to get into the mind of a man even the more. Um, but he, he gave me the tip for it. Um, even talking to my brother-in-law as well, but um, I got the kick 
to go ahead and, and launch it because I was going to wait until next year. Um, but I worked with a publicist named Ellen. He actually, um, he was a publicist at the time for um, OG from the Real Housewives of LA. Oh, wow. So he was like, yeah, he was like, when you going to do a magazine? You know, and he is. He was like, because I got a client, you know. <laughs> and I was oh. like, really? He was like, yeah, like, and I want to be on the cover or whatever. So a couple of months later, he had a client, which was Old Dangerous. Um, he did a collaboration with the Tiger with Tiger King or whatever for a clothing line. And that's how it actually got started. Like in the summer, I did a soft launch um, because I only did like three pages. I didn't do a full magazine, um, but the full magazine came out after that. And Elton was on the last cover um, outside of your husband being the very last cover. Elton was before him. Mm -hmm. So that's how he got started. He sort of like push me even the more to just do it. And I was like, men. <laughs> well, I mean, that might turn into something, you know, because I'm sure you have a lot of men like, hey, yes. me, 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 me next, me next, me next, me next. Yes. Yes, I do. And it's crazy because, I, I mean, I don't know. Sometimes you don't think that things are going to do the way that they do or take off the way that they take off because, you know, we're human. We have doubts, you know, right, I'm a human, um, but it completely shocked me. Like I have my starting lineup for this year, which is awesome, you know, and I, I, I just thank God. And, and you, Taji, you, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> you, you have like just been the best between she is and he is. So you're, you just, I mean, really like you blessed me in, in so many ways. And I appreciate the collaborations. I appreciate the referrals. Like, um, you guys keep me busy and you're one of them, you know, you're one of the people that keep me busy, that keep me business. And I, and I really appreciate it. It's a blessing. Uh, no, listen, the, the honor is all mine, as they say, like, you know, if I can support any way I can, you know, and, you know, I got to definitely thank you for being a sponsor. You know, I'm live with Taji, y'all, but, you know, I'm also fast yeah. coffee. I mean, if you guys don't know by now, I mean, come on. But, you know, and I, and I just say, you know, I appreciate you for sponsoring in um, my virtual fashion shows for Fashion Coffee. And, you know, it's been a great deal for the models, you know. Mm -hmm. They really, really appreciate that. And I appreciate oh, I love it. it. And also on the live with Taji and too, you know. And uh, soon you guys are going to see it on my website. She is a hey. magazine, you know. Um, and if there's one to definitely hit up and say, hey, can I be in a spotlight or even the cover, you better hit up Sierra. You know, and listen, <laughs> nothing, nothing in life is free. All right. I'm just going to say that. That's we true. Support business. We got to support Black business you know, and, you, you know, it's That's worth true. it. You know, you definitely give us it something is. to read, and it's legit, and I like how for the he is, you have the blue, you know, with the red, and we know red is your yes. color. Yes. And, you know, you just have that distinctive right. logo, and you have that, bam, this is it. You know, so... I thank you, you know, and, and right. keep doing your thing, and I'm sure it's a lot. It, I'm sure it's a lot. So how yes, how, how, would it, how did how do you make this happen? Walk me through a day, because every month, right? Is is there every a month that comes out? Is it monthly or quarterly for your yes. issue? Monthly? Each magazine is monthly. Each magazine is monthly. So. Um, I just separate the two. I try to do two weeks on one side and two weeks on the other side <laughs> as far as creating. Um, and I always, you know, one thing that I learned is, um, which is very smart, very wise, always, you know, plan your content out, whatever you're going to release as far as like social media and things like that. Just have a plan. You know, I write down every week what I want to talk about, create my content. 
Um, sometimes I outsource someone to create my content um, as far as she is, is concerned. But when it comes to like, like social media posting, um, however, I haven't got there yet with he is because I'm still trying to like niche down with he is. But um, hopefully, you know, keep doing that. But you, it, it is a lot. It's a lot. I will not lie. Um, but somehow, some way, you know, I, I just make it happen with the grace of God and, and the support from you guys. Y'all push me to continue um, just like you were doing. So it's like, come on, Sierra, let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. <laughs> Make it happen. So, yes. Line, do you like? Do you just see yourself sticking to she is and he is e magazine? Do you eventually see um more diversity or more I like being with people of color, as they say, POC? I, <laughs> POC. Um, you know what? I actually, my dad was actually talking to me about um, expanding. So that's something that I have my eye on for 2021. Mm -hmm. You might get a, you might, you might get a shocker in 2021. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I, you know, it's something that I have to test because for the last four years, everything has been people of color. So I just want to make sure that she is doesn't lose its focus when I do you know, shift. Um, but I have, that's been definitely something that I've been considering and I've been hearing. So um, we'll see what happens for next year. Mm. I mean, I know it comes with a lot, you know, yes. and I don't, are you looking for, let's say any interns now or maybe eventually? Yes, I actually am. I was doing an ad on Facebook or whatever for an intern. Um, I, any type of help is great, you know, so I definitely am. If you guys are interested, um, contributing, um, writers or whatever, you know, you want to share your story. Once again, reach out to me. I'll put you, I'll put you to work. <laughs> oh, sure. oh, yeah. And I'm sure it's you like, there. you know, English majors and, you know, those that eventually want to do their own magazine and, you know, you got to start yeah. somewhere. You know, and you do listen, interns. Sierra is hiring. <laughs> get, get your intern on for she is and he is. Let's do it. Right? Yes, let's do it. Let's make it happen. I like, I wasn't too hard or too pushing up onto it, you know, doing too much with it, but now I could definitely use the help. And then we're going into the holiday season. So. Oh, please get at me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes. So, I like, okay, everything we talked about has been interesting about it. You know, your E is, he is, he is, and she is E magazine, right? So, All what right. is the process like? I'm curious to know what your process is when a magazine is almost out release day. So, let's say, it's two weeks before release day. What is the process? Like, how do you, I don't know what your process is like from beginning to end. You know, do you start off like with the brainstorming on how you want it organized? Um, like how, like, I want to know the process. What's Sierra's process? Cause I'm sure everyone's <laughs> process is different, you know? So what is it like? Right. Process. Yeah, my process, what I start doing is like, if I already have, well, before two weeks, I usually have all of my cover stuff first, right? So um, I, I, the cover is like the last thing that I work on as far as putting that together, because that's the one that has the most pages. Um, so what I do like with the spotlights, because they're only two pages, they're faster to work through. Um, so I knock those out. Um, you know, the travel part, as far as the bucket, um, part that I have, I, I knock that out. You know, I just go, I try to start from beginning to end, but I know that those spotlights are, is something that is, is really fast. I can just stick in there. You know, I have, um, I have it set up to where 
you know, you, from start to end outside of the cover when I get started. So that's how I, I roll. I just get in there and I knock it out. I do my research because sometimes, you know, well, with what's going on with COVID when I'm sharing information about the bucket, I want to make sure that I'm sharing information about, you know, safe places to travel if you decide that you want to travel right now, you know, things like that. And I do my research and I just go from there. And I mean, every day I might work on it. Today I did not. And I have a magazine coming out next week. (laughs) But I said, yeah, I said, okay, Wednesday is my day to like just hammer down, get done with the things that I need to get done with because today was a busy day. I had an interview with you. And I (laughs) I just took my day. I just took this day and just, you know, gave it to Sierra. Um, But tomorrow will be where I start, you know, really hammering down um, to make sure that it's done, to do my previews and, you know, move wow. into that process. Like how you, you, you said, you see how we do with the previews. I'll send you the preview. I just mm-hmm. want to make sure it looks the way that it needs to look. You know, you always get me right on the previews, but I do this because I don't want to submit a magazine and share it. And then it's not together or, you know, you pay for a service and it's not right, you know, so that's pretty much how the process rolls from start to end. Nice. And then, yeah, <laughs> I, I might even be tweaking it on Tuesday night, Wednesday morning before it releases, but I want it to, I want it to be right. You know? Right. And I like, a, we collab, you make sure that it's right. So <laughs> I'm so grateful. <laughs> so, so grateful. With all of this, how do you juggle being a wife, a mom, and owner slash editor-in-chief of two e-magazines. How do you juggle that lifestyle? Like, do you give yourself one day to chill or? Yeah. So I, <laughs> I know it's like, brother, me and my brother, we say this thing, right? We say, we, we like, don't let the ADHD kick in, you know, stay focused. <laughs> We haven't been diagnosed with it, but you know, whenever you have a million things to do, you just make it happen. So, and for women, it's like we have, especially mothers and wives, we have eight arms that nobody sees. (laughs) So what I try to do is I really do try to get started like early. I try to start first thing in the morning. Um, I try to get started before my kids get up and take a few hours and do what I need to do. Um, you know, and, and then I tend to them, my husband, whatever. And then throughout the day when they're doing their coursework, then I might jump in and do what I got to do. I just try to take advantage of the time that I have and not leave them out, you know, because it, it, they, like my husband, especially, he can say, come on, you spending too much time. Come on, let's go. You know, so I had to oh, no, find a balance. Yes. And I'm like, I'm the only one that's doing this, you know, (laughs) until I get a full team. Like I have to do, I have to show up for myself because I cannot depend on anybody else to do it because I do not have a full team right now. You know, I have those writers, I have the contributing writers, but as far as the editing part of my magazine and making it look the way I want it to look, that's all Sierra. So if Sierra doesn't do her part, there is no magazine. <laughs> right. I get you. I get you. Yes. Oh my gosh. I yes. know it's tough, you know. And even when you're not thinking business, yes. trying not to think of business, you're thinking business. Because it's like, uh oh, did I misspell you're something wrong? Business. I think I did. No, I did. I didn't. It's like, true. You know, you just always double checking, triple checking, you know. And speaking of she is and he is, I know you have she talk. So what is yes. as far as she talk, what inspires she talk? Well then that's when you do your interviews on Instagram Live, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> so <laughs> I actually was talking to a coach, right? Um, she's the one that gave me the idea for She Talk because of COVID. And, you know, I was just telling her the plans that I have for She Is. And she was like, well, what about doing, you know, live interviews because people are at home? And I was like, oh, that's a good idea. So I started doing the live interviews. Um, She's Kelly. 
um, she's the one that pushed me to actually do that. And I started from nowhere, even though I knew I had so many women that had something to say, and I've interviewed so many women, it definitely went in another direction. I thought maybe I was going to do it for like a few weeks and be done, but <laughs> yeah, <starting laughs> something now. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Here we are, September. I haven't done any interviews this month. Um, I hope to pick back up next Friday. I took off a couple of weeks. Let's um, There's nothing wrong with taking off. Yes, I took time. off a couple of weeks. It's true. You need the time. So I took off a couple of weeks. And just so happened this week, I ended up interviewing with you. So <laughs> feels good for me not to be on that side but you know um that's how she talked I started and even you've been there so you see yeah. so I know I just literally said you got to give yourself time and everything like that but right. I'm, I, I mean I don't mean to put you on blast but maybe a little bit <laughs> uh, have you thought about he talk I have. I thought okay. about Heat Talk, but I haven't like really sat down and um, mapped out like a plan for Heat Talk. How to alternate Heat Talk from She Talk? Like, am I gonna do Heat Talk on on Thursdays or Saturdays? Like, I haven't got that far yet, but I'm thinking of. I'm really thinking about it. I really okay. am. So um, okay. that might be something that we pull out of the hat. Um, in the next quarter, we might pull it out for next month. We'll see what happens. We'll see. I'm not trying to put more pressure and more work on you. Like, no, <laughs> I'm sure it was. I mean, I'm sure it was already an idea, like you said. Yeah, you know, it, it was. Again, already, I'm probably asking yeah. for the guys out there that now has he is e magazine. It was probably like, right? talk. what about he talk? You know? Yes, yes, I know. I've been asking, I was like. I might do it. I might really do it. Like I said, I don't really know when I'm going to start it, but I'm hoping to get it started before the holiday season like kicks in full force um, and just see what happens because the men, they want to talk to. Of course. Of course. Yeah. They wanna talk to. So with that being said, because I know we about to end, okay. I do want to ask what is it the cost for a subscription to she is and he is e magazine is it the same price and if so what is it because we want to know okay both of the magazines are 99 a month so it's cheaper than your starbucks okay oh, <laughs> oh she told y'all cheaper than starbucks <laughs> it's cheaper than your starbucks it's 199 so you might as well subscribe um, like I said, it's for both magazines, for He Is and She Is E Magazine. So please make sure you subscribe. Mm, I love that price. You know, I subscribe real quick because I'm like, ooh. Yes. Oh, man, I want to read this. Nope, you better subscribe. It's right. Subscribe, subscribe, support, and get those spotlight spreads, cover spreads, because yes. you know, they, they booking up. 2021 is right around the corner. Oh my God. It's true. You know, right around the corner. I was like, oh my goodness, 2021 is upon us. Let me get started. Like, let me find my people. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you got this in the bag. You got this. You got this. Thank and, you. you know, I thank definitely you. want to say thank you so much on coming on live with Taji. And, you know, it's been some time, you know, we all took our time in our own way to handle COVID and whether it was getting super busy, we, you know, but I do thank you. It was fun. It's crazy how time yeah. flies when you're having fun, right? Up in New York, right. North Carolina. Right. <laughs> please subscribe to She Is and He Is E Magazine. They're on two different platforms. So, Sierra, please tell us all where to follow you. Yes. Yeah, so, right now, currently, you can go to Instagram. That she is E Magazine. Um, Instagram, he is E Magazine. Facebook, she is E Magazine. Facebook, he is E Magazine. Um, currently, also, I do have a website for she is E Magazine. Um, it's she is E Magazine.com. Right now, he is, it's not up and running, 
But if you do want to subscribe, the link is in um, the bios on both pages as far as the social media is concerned. So subscribe. Subscribe, y'all heard that. Damn, live with Taji. Please go support. And, you know, again, thank you for, you know, showing love for me and, and being a part of your She Is E magazine. Thank you, Taji. And guys, I need you guys to understand that your girl paid for her stuff. All right. Yes, she did. <laughs> so, you know, yes, she did. Listen, you guys can, you know, support, do what you got to do. I know we all want to get our voices heard out there. And, you That's know, right. listen, you could be in She Is or you could be in He Is She Magazine. That's right. You know, that's right. You can even possibly have an interview for She Talks. Sure. Eventually, He Talks. So there's different avenues, you know. And, right. you know, again, thank you for allowing me to interview you right after the Labor Day thank you, holiday, thank you. Tuesday, practically Monday. Monday, right? But it's our Monday. On this Tuesday, and I hope you have a great night, and I, I love the print that you have on today. Thank you. I really noticed that. <laughs> Stay talented and, you know, just Thank keep you doing more because, I, you know, even your motivated words, like your, you know, your quotes and everything is something that people want to see as well, mm -hmm. you know, so. That's true. If you, you know, support the page, you know, like, comment. Let's do it. A, a like is what, half a second? A comment? Yes. Like maybe five seconds? Like, come on. Bro. That's true. That's true. And you know what? When you <laughs> right. And when you see when you see the magazine, believe it or not, nine times out of ten lately, you're gonna see Taji's work in there. <laughs> so it's not just me. <laughs> Make sure because you never know what Taji is doing inside of He Is and She Is magazine. So when you support me, support her. Girl, it's all <laughs> Bless you, you do your thing, keep doing it, and also thank you for having my husband, comedian Kevin, yes. wise guy on the cover of this month. Um, yeah, you know, graphic designer, he did an excellent job. I, I have yeah. to do that. It, it just it came out super dope. So, listen, guys, I know I said it enough times, but I'm gonna say it one more time go support. <laughs> on Instagram, Facebook, websites, and so forth. And like I always say, if you can't remember that, just go to Live with Taji and the information is there. Yes. Thank you so much, Taji. I appreciate it. It's been so fun. It's been so fun. Time went by so fast. <laughs> Listen, time flies when you have having fun. Yeah. That's true. So, it's so Listen, true. Have a great night. And we will Thank definitely you too. be in touch, of course. Of course. Of course. Okay. Have All a right. good night, guys. Take care. You too. Bye. Bye.